Hi guys, welcome back to the Taco Cave. For today's video, we're going to be talking about how we make foregrips for hidden types of real seed hoods. So what is a foregrip that's inleted? Foregrip that's inleted for this type of real seed hood actually allows you to put it on to the hidden thread real seed hood and actually turn it. Some examples of how this looks like. It actually requires a hole inside here which you actually put on a real seed and glue it up and you actually be able to turn it like that. Some examples of hidden thread types of uh, real seed hoods are these ones over here. These are all in size 16 made by Fuji. This is a KDPS 16. This is a KSKSS in 16. This is a HPS in 16. They all actually function kind of the same way. They all require like, you know, material like this to be put on and you screw this hood, dependent on the design, to actually secure the reel or release the reel from your rod. Another few things to note guys is that you can actually get trims for these type of things. So this one has a trim, if you can see the silver part over here. This one does not, it's just like a full piece of um, EVA. And you can get things like that, you know, just put on. So when you're actually doing this type of um, work, we actually need to measure how much our trim actually is if we're doing like, you know, uh, four grips like that. So for the purpose of today's demonstration, the main tool we're going to be focusing on is the Crafty's Cutter. This is a tool that actually allows you to cut um, inlets accurately into four grips like that or rear grips that you actually can put the inlet in and slide it on for this type of real seats. The tool itself costs about, I think, 50 US dollars. It comes with five different types of blades, they're all interchangeable. You can just unscrew it like that, pull out this piece and you can change the blade. If you notice, I don't think you can really see it on the camera because it's really small. But this actually has uh, two little notches cut into it. This means this is a size number two. There are five sizes here, you know, they do different purposes. They can be used to inlet um, fly reel seats into cork or anything else like that. So guys, for the purpose of today's demonstration, I'm going to be using cork. I'm going to be down locking and I'm going to put it on a KSKSS 16 for one of the rods I'm building today. I actually haven't glued this cork yet, so I actually need to go and Inlet it with a 3.8 type of reverse fastness bit, get the size I want, put it on the mandrel, glue it up. It's clamped on the mandrel, it's been glued up, I've cleaned off the glue. Hi guys, we're back in the workshop now. Everything is glued and dried. I've clamped it up in the lathe to cut it down to shape. Got my real seat hood and its little trim ring here as well. I need to fit it on. I'm going to use a calipers to actually get the dimensions that I want. I'm going to cut it down with chisels and sandpaper to get the shape I want. I've prepped my crafty cutter. I put the number three type of blade inside. Wrap the shim up with masking tape so it fits the 3 8 type of mandrel that I'm using right now. So yeah, I'm going to cut this cork right now and I'm just going to do it in fast motion so you guys um, don't have to watch all of it. I'm just going to start right now, okay? Okay guys, we're kind of done. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just going to take it off the bandrel now and try and fit it on just to check whether it actually will fit nicely. So if you can see, this thing is a bit tapered. I'm not really sure if I want it in this position. Yup, that will actually fit. Or in this position like that. I think like this would look a lot nicer. So I'm going to go with this one instead. So as we said, we pre-shimmed the crafty cutter with masking tape. It's going to fit in like that. This is going to act like a little guy and it's going to cut the whole inlet hole for me. So let's get that on. You can use a drill to do this as well. But I prefer this one as it's like, you know, locked in a position. My hand's not going to shake around. So I like to use that because it's a bit more stable. So I'm just going to measure the depth that I need to get my inlet hole in. Just like that. And I'll lock it there. So that's the distance I need to get inside cut by the inlet. So let's just cut that in now, put it in and go. So yeah guys, it's actually done. I fit it in like that. 
it looks pretty good. I'm gonna glue it later after I put on finishing, you know, touch it up a bit more, probably get my hole a bit bigger so I can fit into that tube I'm using in my rod. See that fits pretty good now. So guys, we are back inside. Basically, we're done with this thing. It's all good like that, ready to go. Just gonna put it on the real seat to give you guys a look at how it looks. Like that, I think it looks pretty nice. The masking tape's there just to shim it, but you know, I left a little gap here so the glue can still be in contact with the cork. I'm also gonna need to seal this with cork seal or true oil to protect this. So I'm actually going with this type of glossy type of finish, like you can see over here, kind of shiny, this isn't. If I use cock seal, it's not going to be really shiny. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put cock seal on the inside of this thing, through the hole, and I'm going to use true oil on the outside of it. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like right now. So put that on. It's kind of going to look like that. I made a hole about 15 millimeters, so I can slide this titanium tube inside like that. You can see this titanium tube in another video I'm actually putting out soon. It's going to be Aurora colored. I'll just leave a link for you guys to check it out. Yeah, it should look something like that when it's done. This thing's a bit too plain. I need to put on some gloss as you can see. These parts are pretty shiny and this is not. But yeah, kind of done for that one. So guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Learned something today. If you like this video, please like it below. If you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.